Hello viewers, we are in the series of AngularJS 2 tutorial. Last session I showed you how to mm, do the listing in AngularJS uh, uh, 2. So Angular 2 is very comfort and uh, um, you can easily build the component and you can easily map uh, with the with the to your view so uh, today uh, we're going to uh, see some uh, topics so uh, here I have a, a list that I already built in the last session just to go through my angler 2 tutorial uh, in my playlist just you will get all the details in the playlist because I already adding all my series of uh, angler js2 tutorial in the playlist so now uh, I going to uh, uh, today I going to show you something. Uh, so how to decorate uh, this list with some styles and uh, and I, I going to show you um, on click of uh, <coughs> this uh, heroes. Uh, I need to display the data. So that are all the future things come up uh, in this uh, series. So uh, let's go and uh, do the decoration of uh, the list. So we uh, already know that. So uh, with the template, uh, we can add your HTML. So uh, by using this selector, it will uh, easily map to the uh, front end. So by calling this uh, custom um, a tag, uh, my app. So uh, this will uh, helps you to uh, build uh, this template. So this is the actually the replacement of that. This is the component. So once you build this component, uh, so this component will act accordingly uh, wherever you are um, adding that selector tag over there. So default, uh, you know that. So anchor, uh, if you body section, it will helps you uh, to uh, 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 consider this as a body HTML. So like that, uh, the predefined HTML uh, uh, components have but now what i going to what we going to do is we are building our own component so that we are entering in the view so that is what all we are doing so let's uh, uh, go and uh, add the styles for the class so already i i have a ul okay uh, i already mentioned that class heroes but i didn't uh, refer any styles uh, to my uh, templates so how to refer the styles for this particular template today i going to show you it's uh, very simple just uh, keep the comma and uh, uh, here uh, you can add uh, your styles so how to achieve that so it's very simple uh, by adding the styles okay the name called styles yes so it's already there predefined okay asterisk symbol okay so from here inside you can add all your styles that will uh, refer uh, to the template so already i built my styles uh, so i uh, you can uh, do your own custom uh, style and you can put it over there so by applying uh, inside the style it will going to render the, those styles so this is the uh, styles which is already built that actually i'm just uh, referring my uh, the official angular uh, website so I, I get this uh, piece of uh, style because that tutorial which I am um, going to show is the uh, based on the tutorial which is uh, provided in the main website to help you to understand better idea so let's go and save this okay because uh, I already added the UL class heroes so that heroes already there so heroes li so it will be um, this uh, styles will uh, going to up apply for that i am not going to explain you so what is the styles and how to add those uh, stuffs because if uh, if you are a developer definitely you should know the basic of uh, html styles then and the uh, basics javascript then you can go ahead and uh, do some um, I, uh, extraordinary things if you not please go and study uh, the html and the styles and come back here so i'm not sh uh, going uh, deeper about the styles so i added the basic styles over here and uh, the already i have a class which i um, mentioned so uh, uh, with the uh, um, mapping uh, i ordered uh, already added for the my uh, li styles as well and if it's a mouse over on the it will be changed the background so all the stuffs all the combination that i i need for my requirement i added okay let's go to the front end yes you can able to see the styles now so how it is uh, uh, coming uh, uh, immediately it's reflecting because I'm using the browse synchronous um, uh, 
by uh, using the npm manager so i imported the module called browser model so this will helps me to synchronize whatever the changes if i saved immediately it will reflect in my page so that is what that i explained already in my tutorial just go through my tutorial to get a better idea so this is the way to achieve the styles so let's uh, go uh, do a little bit okay so it's a uh, bit it's uh, this is the id and uh, this is my <coughs> hero names yeah so let's give some space okay uh, le let me go and decorate with a, a bit different let I keep the hero outside already I have a class called badges you don't need to worry about this it, this is internally that uh, you guys uh, can understand uh, so how the things are working okay this I call this something like badges okay the class which I selecting here is batch so badge I already have so under my heroes yes so this will uh, decorate me a little bit uh, friendly so let's get synchronized yep okay it's uh looks uh, pretty good uh, so uh, designed well so uh, now uh, uh, now you uh, got it how to add the styles uh, to your uh, template in the component so uh, in a future session i going to show you on a uh, click of uh, the each heroes i going to uh, display the uh, details of uh, the particular heroes that's bit interesting just to follow my uh, next session to complete uh, the entire uh, group of uh, uh, component oriented stuffs thanks for watching the video guys if you have any doubt queries on this please comment us please subscribe our channel if you not subscribed before